Hello again. Here we are again. We're here with the uh, Radio Shack microphone. As you can see, it's this channel, or it may be this channel. Just, just all depends. Today is uh, Sunday, July 8, uh, 2018. Okay, that's the cell phone, that's the other phone, this is a better one to call me on today. Alright, so now uh, we got that out of the way. Let me go through my pictures here which I've taken. Use the mouse and narrate. This is about the one in the background, that one there. Okay? That's what it looked like before I took it apart. Okay? So anyway. Oh, I forgot the some issues with that. Okay, so here's the front of it. Alright, looks like that there, okay. It's got the uh, here. I'll zoom in for that. It's got the Dolby system. It's a National Panasonic on there, but it only says National on the box. So here's the inputs, okay. It's got a beat proof mixing mic, your line in or phono, uh, left and right mics, your line in, your line out, your ground or earth, if you will, for your phono your uh, left and right uh, speaker outputs, your 12 volts in, and then of course your AC input there, right? Here's the back of it. Now I want to show this to you if I can, this picture. Alright, so there it is. It says National Model Number RX 5700. does not say Panasonic on there, unless you can read Made in, J made in Japan. That's about it, okay? So there's that. That's the back of it. All right. And then there's the battery compartment, the tuning end, the top, the bottom, the back. This has a missing screw right there where the uh, where the magnetic thing is. That was an odd screw that came out of there. We'll get to that in a moment because this was glued together, which really ticked me off. And here I want to show you this line. You can see this line, follow the cursor, that's glued right there, okay? Here I'm just trying to get it apart, and again, it's glued together. Can you see that there? That's all glue right in there. That's not, not nice, whoever had this before me. And here I'm trying to show you with the, with the little mini screwdriver that I'm trying to get this glue out of here, or you know, trying to get it apart without breaking this. Anyway, so now I finally had to take a knife and cut along the line here to try and get the glue out of here. So you can see that. That's just too much fun. Alright, so here we are. Again, another glue shot. Okay, see all that glue in there? All that white stuff? Okay. And here's the bottom, just what it looked like. And here's the, okay, now the front door, you have to remove the front door, but again, it was glued on and also had some glue goo there, I don't know why, but um, that was glued on and uh, has four tabs and anyway. And then here's just the front view of it as you're removing it, and I finally got it apart. And then there's the, uh, you know, the main unit here. Okay. And here I'm just showing where the, the long wire goes that I'm holding in my hand that goes all the way, well we'll get to that in a second. Here I'm just holding the other wires that came off the front and where they go, okay. And then here's a, a good you know, close-up shot of where the wires go. They plug into there, over here, and right down here at the bottom, hard to see. And I just took a picture of that one, and that's where the far wire goes, right up here in the corner. Okay, and another picture, and then here's this last wire here that I unplugged, the one you couldn't see a second ago. And here's the inside of the back cover thing, all right. It's a 3 ohm, uh, 3 ohm woofer and a 4 ohm tweeter, okay. No power designations on the back of either speaker, all right. Here's the uh, tweeter. That's all it says right there, okay. And then there's the um, main unit. Okay, again, the main unit, and uh, that's the tuner side. Here's the motor. We need a motor for this machine, so there it is. It needs a 12 volt, that one right there, okay? So if you can find one, that'd be great. All right. uh, 3 October 2079. So now here's the back side of the tape deck. It takes a, uh, well, we'll get to that. Another picture. Okay, I removed the... Uh, the cover for that, and of course you have to remove this other thing, three more screws. Right, 
times. Here's the old belt I took out of it. Okay, it's, it's about that big. That's the old belt. So I put in one that was about uh, six and three quarters. I mean, six and three eighths, excuse me. Okay, so here is the back with like that. Okay. And then uh, now th here I'm showing this is the recording bar switch lever. That's the recording bar. It goes the full length of the of the uh, thing right there. So there's the recording bar. All right, clean that. Clean the speakers. Just wanted to see what they are. They're, these are chrome domes, whereas these don't have the tweeters don't have any chrome on the front of them. And it's a six-inch speaker. Just had to know that. And we're done. So let me just go back to the most important thing here. And mind you, this is a. If you do the math, this is what. Um, uh, 39 years old, and you expect it to work. So here, let me take in. Let me take the uh, take the. Uh, okay, now of course you're listening to the radio in the background here. So wait, you got a wide out. All right, so let's wide out. Come on, wide out. Well, maybe it is wide out. I don't know. Right, let me just. Because what I want to show you is that if we flip it over to tape deck, which is going to be, see here, we take this one here with the second switch over, we flip it over to tape deck, okay, and then we need to have, well, we leave the microphone here, okay, leave the microphone there. So here, let's hit play. We got um, Dennis Ibacab in there. And it plays, let's see, it's on tape, right? Second switch over. So I'll turn the volume up. See, that's really, really slow. Okay. And trying to adjust the, uh, the speed control here. Just doesn't do anything. I'm in there with a, you know, a flat tip, okay, and just nothing's happening. That should be, that's one end, that's the other, that's this end, that's that end. So it just plays super, super slow. It does play, see here, let's see here. So if we hit stop, all right, hit stop, if we hit that. It'll lock in place, but it don't mean nothing because it's, you know, of course it goes this way. Okay. But, hit play again. <laughs> it's just super, super slow and it's just not going to be able to adjust it in any way, form, or fashion. Okay, so I just thought I'd like to show you that, that this is for sale. So I don't want it. And, um,. Like I said, it was glued shut, so I had to um, get my little tool here and try and clean this up here. That's, um, let's see here, I, I brought a light. Let me get the light. Let's see here. Here, see the light there? That was, I had a whole bunch of glue in there, and of course the other end has, still has a bunch of glue in it. All right, but I tried to clean it up best I could, so hopefully when I put it back here, that it'll marry up pretty well. All right, so, but, uh, anyhow, it works. Oh, let me put it on the radio so you can see that. There's a crazy light. Put it on the radio, so. And then. Let me let me plug the microphone back in. Let's see here. Give me the microphone wire so you can hear. I'll plug it back into the uh, camera here. So let me just trade hands real quick. Non-stop music on 100.3 Jack FM, and as if Tina Turner hasn't experienced enough tragedy in her life, last week her oldest.
son, Craig, was found dead of an apparent suicide. Right, 